Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's been way too long. We have got not one but two of the stars of Hudson and Rex. Sherry Davis is back with Diesel, a.k.a. Rex. And even though Sid's a cat person, you're going to fall in love with Diesel. Good morning, Sherry. Morning, <laughs> Diesel. On cue. Always on cue. How are you guys? You know what? We're fantastic. And I love the fact that you're going to help everybody at home. You know when parents sneak in like zucchini and a muffin and they're like, look, it's dessert. You're kind of doing that with our, our dogs today by, by playing games disguised as fitness, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, actually, you know what? So many people have gotten dogs over the past year for obvious reasons. And, um, you know, a lot of them are puppies and they need some stress relief. They need some mental stimulation. And it's always fun to do training. I love training. I think it's so much fun. But people don't realize, they think it's like, hard work or, you know, I've got to dedicate so much time to it. So I'm here to show them a couple games they can play, train their dogs and have a great time. And not only that, but they're going to exhaust the four legged kids and the two legged kids. OK, that's winning. Let's do it. Game number one. Game number one. All you need is a whistle. So a lot of people I hear all the time, they say, we got a silent whistle, it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because you're inconsistent with your frequency. So when you start a whistle recall with a dog, start it with a whistle that you can hear, the dog can hear, so you can get your rhythm down, you can get your frequency calls. So if you notice behind me, my assistant, Victoria, she should have went somewhere and hid <laughs> while we were looking at the camera. So what we're going to do is she's going to call his name and start to whistle, and he's going to have to play hide and seek and find that whistle. Okay. So on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Where's the whistle? Are you ready? Whistle, whistle. Look at him. Look at him. There, him. Goes. Whistle, whistle. there goes Diesel. He's the best. Look at him. Big Daddy Cool. There you go. So Nailed it. when nice. you're out in the park, if you're at least free in the backyard, if it's bad weather, have the kids run and hide around the house. But this is a great <laughs> exercise to teach the dog to find you guys. Great exercise for running and playing with the kids and the dog. Everybody loves it. When he gets to the whistle, he's going to get a special treat. So the dogs are going to love it. The kids are going to be exhausted. Mm. So our next one is right here. This is just your average water bottle. What have I got? <gasps> oh, yes, I've got a water bottle. All I did was poke some holes in it so it's nice and safe. Okay. And I'm going to let the dog smell what's inside. So with this game, again, a different type of hide and seek. They're going to use their nose. Do you know that they have 300 million receptacles in their nose? I only have 6 million. So they can smell like you wouldn't believe. But I did put some holes in here. So when you start it, lie down. I'm going to tell him to lie down here and stay. And if I'm outside, I can hide it behind trees. I can hide it in my garden. If I'm in the house, I can hide it anywhere, in a closet, in a shoe, anywhere. But what you're going to do is you're going to let them see it. What's that? Let them smell the Take treats inside. Yeah. Yeah. Now, because of the wind today, I made his playground inside. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show him the treats, and then I'm going to come and I'm going to pretend behind each one of these boxes that I'm actually putting his treat down. Now, you notice he's... He's used to these games because he is Rex after all. Yeah, look at him. And I'm going to come, pretend I put them all down. Now, I am going to get rid of my whistle. I'm going to show him. Oh, where is it? You want to go find it? Good boy. Okay, let's go find it. Go get and then it. I'm going to send him, and he's going to go and search around. Here, D. He's going for the whistle. <laughs> so hold on. Still in whistle hey, mode, yeah. Hey, hey. Find it. Okay, here, here we go. go. Here we go. Find it. There we go. He's going to find it. He's back, when they baby. find it, there you go. He's going to bring hey. you up the bottle. What have you got? See, that's why he's a detective <laughs> dog. Give you it see? to me. He's going to bring you back the bottle, or he could dig at the bottle. He could bark at the bottle. And guess what? I'm going to open it up. The treats are going to be safe because they're in the bottle. And I'm going to give him a treat. A little it's reward. great for the kids. It's great for the dogs. It's mental stimulation. It's exercise. It's beautiful outside. Get out, have some fun with those dogs. You know what, Cher? Uh, Diva was so kind to lend me his little miniature version. I have Rex right here with me all the time oh. because I know we can't see you, but we can see you tonight. Season 3, Hudson and Rex finale, airing 9 p.m. on City TV, citytv.com. Stay tuned. Watch till the very end, my friends, because there's exciting news. That's all I can say. You know what? I've said too much. I got to tell you.
after last week, social media blew up. They're asking me, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? They're going to find out tonight. Right, it, it's going to be so exciting, but they've got to stay till the end. Hey, uh, Sid, can your cat, Chloe, do anything that uh, Diesel I'm, just I'm going to try all these tricks when I get home, Cher, <laughs> and none of them will work. None of them. I guarantee you. <laughs> none of them. None of them will work. <laughs> none this of Mind of her own. You know, Mind of her own. I feel like we can't end this segment until Diesel barks. He always barks on cue. Oh, let's get, I need this. Have a great day. Bye, Diesel. Bye, Sherry. Good to see you. Say bye. Have a great finale. Talk to me. He always does it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Woo! There, there we it is, go. baby. Wrap it up with a bow. Thanks, guys. Still ahead. Thank you. Ready to go out of this world? Let, listen, they're calling it one of the most go. famous helicopter rides in human history. After the break, we'll tell you why people down in NASA were losing their minds yesterday. That conversation straight ahead. Good morning. You're watching BT. <laughs>